Pokemon Legends Arceus is a brand new title that opens new doors for the Pokemon series by fusing action with RPG elements. Your adventure takes place in a region known as Hisui, during a long ago era when it was rare for people to live in harmony alongside Pokemon. Mount Coronet towers over the center of the land, with sprawling, diverse, natural environments surrounding the mountain on all sides. These different areas are home to a rich variety of Pokemon ecosystems. In the future, this land of Hisui will come to be known as the Sinnoh region. You'll set out on an adventure with the goal of completing the first ever Pokedex for the Hisui region. The bustling Jubilee Village will be the base for your adventures. It's home to the Galaxy Expedition Team, made up of people from various other regions with divisions such as the Medical Corps, the Security Corps, and the Survey Corps, which researches Pokemon. Professor Laventon's field of study is the ecology of Pokemon. He came to the Hisui region along with Pokemon he met in various other regions. He entrusts one of these Pokemon to you. Captain Silene is the leader of the Survey Corps. Though she may seem to treat you harshly, Deep down, she's your biggest supporter, and she watches over your progress with care. Commander Komodo oversees the entire Galaxy team. He's a dependable leader who has earned the unwavering trust of his team members. When the commander recognizes your knack for Pokemon research, he allows you to join the team and has you work as a member of the Survey Corps. The duty of the Survey Corps is to observe and catch Pokémon to shed light on how they live. Your survey duties hold the key to unlocking the true purpose of your adventure, and in the course of your work you'll visit various locations within the Hisui region. Your excursions outside the village will begin by preparing at a base camp. At these camps, you'll be able to prepare for your survey work by buying items or crafting new ones from basic materials. In the Hisui region, you'll find that you'll be vulnerable to attacks from wild Pokémon. Take too much damage from their attacks, and you'll black out. So use caution when you're out doing your survey work. When your Pokémon are hurt, you can return to a base camp to rest up and recover. Once you've completed a survey assignment, return to the village and report the results to whoever requested the job. Pokemon live all over the place. Get close to them and aim carefully, then throw a Pokeball to try to catch them. You'll find that not all species of Pokemon react the same way when they spot you. For example, some Pokemon will immediately flee, so you'll want to hide in tall grass when you approach them. Aggressive Pokemon, on the other hand, may need to be weakened in battle. There are a variety of tricks to catching them all. Throw a Pokeball containing one of your own Pokemon near a wild Pokemon and a battle will begin. You'll find that a single Pokemon may get to act multiple times in a row, depending on its speed stat and the moves that it uses. You can also choose to have Pokemon use their moves in two different styles, Strong Style and Agile Style. Using a move in the Strong Style will increase the move's power, but the Pokemon's action speed will be lowered. Using a move in the Agile style will decrease the move's power, but the Pokémon's action speed will be raised. You'll find the Strong style will come in handy when you see a chance to end a battle with one powerful move, while the Agile style is great for situations where acting multiple times in a row will give your battle strategy a real boost. Use these different styles as the situation demands to gain the upper hand in battle. When you report the results of your survey work to the professor, information will be added to the Pokedex. You can advance your research and fill in more information by doing things like catching Pokemon, seeing them use certain moves multiple times, and more. Seek out and meet lots of different Pokemon to complete that Pokedex. Now, we'd like to introduce some of the Pokémon living in the rich, natural environments that are spread out across the Hisui region. This Pokémon with distinctive antlers is known as Weirdeer. Weirdeer evolves from a Stantler that has managed to live in the harsh, natural environment of the Hisui region. 
It has strong ties with the local people, and it has been treated with great care and respect in this land since ancient times. Garments made with the fur shed from its beard, tail, and legs are highly prized as warm winter clothing. This Pokemon is Basculegion. It can swim with great power. Basculin that live in the Hisui region can evolve into this Pokemon if they become possessed by the restless souls of other Basculin in their school that have perished during their journey upstream. This Pokemon gains power from the souls possessing it, letting it swim on and on without tiring. There are also Pokemon that can be found living in this land in forms that have adapted to the environment of the Hisui region. This Pokemon with its great, majestic wings is the Hisuian form of Braviary. It comes to Hisui in the winter and can imbue its screeches with psychic power to generate shockwaves. This Pokemon, which works with a partner, is the Hisuian form of Growlithe. It is a very wary Pokemon and appears to protect its territory. Hisuian Growlithe's soft fur is an excellent insulator, allowing it to stay active and lively even in this chilly land. The horn on its head is made of rock, but it breaks easily, so Hisuian Growlithe uses it only when it'll have the greatest effect. The Pokemon Arceus holds the key to this story, but what connection does it have to your adventure? We hope you look forward to finding out on the day when you can finally meet the people and Pokemon of the Hisui region for yourself.